Intraocular pressure is the fluid pressure inside the eye. Measurement of IOP is important, especially in patients at risk for or who have glaucoma. When checking for IOP, there are several instruments you can use. The first is the tonopem, which should always have the disposable cover exchanged between patient examinations. The Goldman tonometer, which is mounted onto the slit lamp, and newer devices such as the eye care tonometer, which allows for IOP measurement without the need for topical anesthetic. While the Goldman tonometer is more accurate, the tonopen is easier for new learners. Here we'll introduce you to the basics on how to use the tonopen to measure intraocular pressure. So we're going to test the pressure of your eyes now, but uh, before we do that, I'll put some numbing drops in, okay? All right. Alkane drops are commonly used to numb the surface of the eyes. Administer one to two drops of alkane in each eye. Okay, and uh, feel free to dab, but uh, try not to rub or wipe the eye. The tonopen should be properly calibrated prior to IOP testing. I'm going to test the pressure of your eyes now. Um, as I'm doing this, you might feel some light pressure, but no pain. And just try to look ahead while I'm doing this. Okay. Standing first on the right side of the patient, have them fixate on a distant point in front of them. Lower yourself to their eye level and gently tap the tip of the tonopen so that it makes complete contact with the anterior corneal surface. While gently tapping the tonopen, you should hear multiple beeps. A final louder beep indicates that a final measurement has been achieved. Normal IOP is between 10 to 21 millimeters of mercury. Repeat this process on the left eye. Dispose of the tip cover after use and always replace it with a new cover before storing the instrument.